In this video, I will demonstrate where and how to find out if you have an individual upgraded PACER account. You may be thinking, why do I care or need to know if I have an upgraded individual PACER account? The short answer is, on April 27, 2020, the court will upgrade the current CMECF system. And after the upgrade, all ECF registered users will use their individual PACER account to access CMECF. Let's go through the steps to find out if you have an upgraded individual PACER account. In your browser, enter www.pacer.gov. On the right side at the top of the page, click Manage My Account. This is the login page to access your PACER account. On this screen, you will enter your PACER username and password. If you do not know the username, PACER will email you the name. Simply click the link Forgot Username, or if you forgot your password, set a new password by clicking the link Forgot Your Password. After you enter your PACER username and password, you will click Log In. On the Manage My Account screen, the first thing to check is that you are logged into your individual PACER account. At the top of the screen, your individual name should be after the word Welcome. If there is any other name other than your individual name, more than likely you are logged into a shared or firm account. Log out and log into your individual account. After you verify that you are logged into your PACER account, next, check if you have an upgraded account. If upgraded PACER account is the account type, your account is up to date and there is nothing more for you to do, and you can simply click log out to close your PACER account. If the account type is legacy PACER account, you must upgrade the account. To upgrade your account, click the upgrade link. When you click the link to upgrade, the Upgrade PACER account screen displays. Under the Person tab, first verify that your name and email address are current, and if necessary, go ahead and update the information. After you verify your name and email, enter your birth date in the date of birth field and select Individual for the user type. Then click Next to continue. Under the Address tab, verify your address, city, state, zip code, country, and primary phone number. And if necessary, go ahead and update the information. Click the drop-down arrow for the county field and select the county associated with your address. Then click Next to continue. Under the Security tab, you will create a new PACER username and password and answer two security questions. The username must have at least eight characters, but no more than 40 characters. Valid characters are letters, numbers, periods, and underscores. Do not include special characters in the username. In the password field, enter a new password. The password must be between eight and 45 characters and have at least one lower and uppercase letter and one special character. The password cannot include your first or last name, your PACER username or email address, nor can you have the same character three times in a row. After you confirm your password, select and answer two security questions. You should pick questions that are easy for you to answer, but hard for someone else to guess the answer. After you enter your answers, Click Next to continue. After you complete the information under the Security tab, you are finished updating your account. Click Close to exit your PACER account. To view other court tutorials, click the YouTube icon on the top right-hand corner of the court's webpage. If you have questions regarding the upgrade process, please contact Colette Derwin via email at Colette underscore Derwin at mssb.uscourts.gov 
or feel free to call her at 228-563-1793 or 601-608-4620.